the battle of false reality versus reality. Alex Jones here. It's the 28 live hours of transmission. We just went through an hour, and they kept telling me the whole time, hey, you know what's really going to raise money for the money bomb is some of the biggest sales you've ever offered in the history of InfoWarsStore.com or InfoWarsLife.com. And, of course, we have a very popular guest who hadn't been on for about eight months. He's been writing another best-selling book, James Wesley Rawls. We'll be with us for an hour and a half, interspersed with news on the designed worldwide collapse that's being engineered. And I love some of our critics. They'll say, well, if you think a collapse is intimate, what are you doing trying to run your operation? <laughs> that's why we're doing a money bomb. If the collapse really is as bad as some think it may be, I hope it isn't. I'm very clear about what I've said. Straw men say different things. That is an Alex Jones. It's like, must have been 10 different publications I saw yesterday without even looking. You know, Alex Jones discredited. He said there would be martial law by September 15th and they would be taking all the guns in Texas. They don't show where I said it. And then they lie and say that Rick Perry said it. Rick Perry criticized me. They show a bunch of other Republicans that never even said any of that stuff. It's lying, but I don't care. Go ahead and lie all you want. You've got people dumb enough to be your constituent readers that I just feel sorry for. But it's the fact that even if Jade Helm was something nefarious, exposing it and speaking out against it made them back off of it. But I never said I thought that's what it was. I said it was the engineered buildup to condition us for occupation in this country. And now you see all these top financial experts and others saying it could be a total collapse. The bubble can't go on forever, but if you deflate it, it's going to implode. We're in big trouble if we do end the bubble. We're in big trouble if we don't. And I'm just up here saying, wow, we're sitting on top 2.2 quadrillion in fake derivatives, counterfeit garbage that every major government signed on to. I don't know when this mountains, this volcano is going to go off. But smoke and lava is already coming out of it. And half the world's already in turmoil and flames right now. In fact, more than half the world. So I really think the collapse has already begun, and I want to try to stop it. But they've got publications out today saying we're fear mongers, and you know, we say that, that there's going to be a total collapse now. I don't think it's a total collapse. It's the beginning of the new dark age, the new austerity that the new world order is engineering to bring in their total power. And that's what it comes down to. So you bet, now's the time to expand the audience bigger than ever because now's the time for the message. Now's the time for the responsibility. Now's the time to pray. Because I never get scared when I'm awake during the day. I always start crying when I think about this because I don't want to leave my kids alone now more than ever. My children need me now more than ever. I'm pretty much one of the only people there for them. And I know in my heart that as all this unfolds, this show is going to get bigger and more popular to a dangerous level because we know what's going on. And I've been told by top globalists that I'll be just fine until all this comes true and then that's when I better stop. And the criticism is, what do you want money for if you're ready to stop? Oh, I'm not going to stop during the collapse. I'm going to go to the next level and put everything on the table and be all in. That's what you do when the enemy comes in like a flood. And this is the end of the West, the end of humanity as we know it. This is a total satanic takeover. Don't you understand? It's real. It's not a game. They've captured our churches. They run everything, basically. They're putting drugs in the water, people. And I'm not trying to scare you. This is the truth. And yes, we need to raise a bunch of money. Infowars.com forward slash money bomb. Because we don't need to just have this much money to run things. We need to have wealth as backup, uh, extra fuel in the back of the tank to get to our mission, attack the enemy, and defeat them. You cannot support anybody better with more bang for your buck than donating to the Infowars 2015 money bomb. You just can't do it. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. That liner you just heard was updated about five years ago, but it's the same liner I wrote 20 years ago for my local radio show. 
And then it was a little bit tongue in cheek from a Central Texas Command Center deep behind enemy lines, because the program director was kind of a libertarian patriot, but he still made some jokes about how extreme my show was. And he said, you ought to have an intro or deep behind enemy lines from your bunker. You know, kind of the cliche of you conspiracy guys, and it'll kind of put people in that mindset. And I said, well, you know, we really are under the Federal Reserve. We really are under FEMA Region 6 here in Texas. And he was an old veteran guy, and he goes, I know you're right, I know we're under it, but the point is the people don't know that, and they kind of want to laugh at you. So I think if you, you know, want a bigger audience, you ought to, you know, go along with it. And I said, okay, I'll do the liner you want. So see how that liner was written by somebody else 20 years ago as a joke. But five years ago when we had it updated, the original guy that did the voiceovers died by someone's similar voice. Wasn't a joke anymore, was it? I live in captured FEMA Region 6. They haven't captured all our mines yet. They haven't captured all our power plants yet. They haven't taken all our farms yet. But they, they're doing it now. They're announcing it. Our kids belong to them. Our fire stoves, wood stoves belong to them. They're now announcing no more single parent families, uh, homes to be built in major cities across America. And people are tuning in and going, wow, you made a film 15 years ago, another one eight years ago saying that. How would you know? Well, it's in Agenda 21, the worldwide treaty. Just like taking half the roads off limits and making them for driverless cars is in the treaty. And now L.A. just announced it. They also just announced that they are officially the capital of the Southern, Central, and North America. The capital of Latin America. That's the globalist balkanization. I saw that 18, 19 years ago in globalist publications. And what they put in globalist publications like Club of Rome, CFR, they do. Now, they're a few years behind in their program, but now they're accelerating it. And that's why we haven't done a fundraiser in three years. It's because I've really tried with products and sponsors to pay for everything. But because it looks like the implosion is getting worse, because the economy is going down, because even though our audience has roughly doubled the last year, it's never grown that fast. I can look into the future, and it'll be hard for me to pay for the satellite, the closed captioning, and the crew we have if we don't raise a million dollars for the next year on top of the $10 million plus dollars I have to raise to run this. And if you don't know about media, that's cheap, folks. A small town you know, newspaper for 100,000 people costs $10 million to run or more. It just... The licensing, the, the servers, the, the everything. And we do it cheap in Texas. I've been told by top consultants what we run would cost $50 million in New York. Not $10 million, Not $15 million. What What we run would cost probably more in L.A. because of the unions. We reach, and I'm going to go over these numbers, and we're going to be putting a video out in the next few days showing this from all the big demographic sites. $150 million domestic, 150 domestic AM and FM affiliates plus... 40 million web page views a month. It's just one website, Infowars.com. Half a billion views plus a year just on YouTube. Video streams that come from Infowars.com, 5 million a month just from our original streams. Audio streams, 200,000 users a day. Podcast, 1 million hits a day. That's conservative. 1 million people a day get our podcast. Subscribe to it. Social media, 1.6 billion reach per month is who we touch, who sees our links, who sees our stories. Conservatively, it's over a billion that read it or watch it. Now, that's not counting thousands of other major platforms. And I'm not bragging here, but the enemy is going to attack us and laugh at us because they know how big and dangerous we are. I, I don't like this position. It's not fun to be one of the big ships in the battle up front being shot at. But I want you to know we're in this fight. You're in this fight with us. We've been able to do so much of this because of you supporting InfoWars.com, because of you spreading the word. So we're trying to raise a million dollars today, and that counts purchases at InfoWarsStore.com. We're going to take whatever the profit is. We have it calculated out for each product, and we're going to put that profit towards, because you buy one of our mini cook stoves, we're making like 25% on that. Or if you buy one of the water filters, you know, we're making like 25% on that because it's already so discounted. 
So we have some of the biggest specials across the board. We have free shipping for 28 hours across InfoWarsStore.com and all platforms. Free shipping, 20% off Survival Shield Nason Iodine X2, one of the big missing links in people's bodies. 20% off Super Male Vitality, 20% off Brain Force, 15% off Deep Cleanse, 15% off Secret 12, 15% off Oxy Powder. And we're going to have other specials that are only for one hour throughout the day on some of the other products. We have super high quality, storable food from My Patriot Supply, the newest quality food, private labeled, the exact same food as them. It's the only way contractually they can do what I'm about to tell you, and they've been honest about it. It's only for two weeks. That means about a week left. We have 20% lower than the lowest they've ever gone, and they are the lowest in the industry. It's how in six years they've gone to be one of the top three from nowhere. We have the lowest price on storable food, the best package, you name it, the highest quality, longest lasting, the lowest price ever, and it's private labeled. We're going to continue with the private labeling after the special ends. It'll still match whatever they have. You can buy their stuff right there on my site as well. But we are aggressive capitalists. This is how we're doing it. That's available. And whatever profit we have, that'll go towards the Money Bomb Gold today as well. InfoWarsLife.com is where you find all the nutraceuticals. InfoWarsStore.com is where you find all the products under one roof, under one canopy. But this is your chance. People, they thank the broadcast. They thank our other hosts. They thank our guests. This is an undoubted one of the biggest, most successful platforms in history against tyranny. Because we're willing to do it. I don't like that position. I don't like saying that. It's very dangerous. And I've been told, hey, you've gone far enough. You just need to do the right thing now and need to idle off. You need to back off. You need to play ball. I'm not playing ball with anybody. I never have because I can see my soul forfeit the minute I do. And that's not hocus pocus, that's not me even being religious. It's just in my gut, I can't be part of not fighting this tyranny and not speaking out against it. I don't see that as heroic, I see it as my mission. But we're entering a very dangerous phase right now. People need to get ready, they need to offensively speak out, they also need to defensively get ready because you are the people that need to be prepared in case this really goes south. So InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com or 888 Two five three three one three nine. You can call and purchase over the phone. You can call and donate over the phone. 888-253-3139. We'll be broadcasting for 28 hours. We're already one hour and 16 minutes in. So for the next 26 hours plus, we're going to be here live. Joining us until about 40 after next hour. So for about an hour and a half uh, is a highly sought after guest. Probably the top survivalist in the world. James Wesley Rawls. Survivalblog.com was uh, in Army intelligence, worked in high-level secret operations. I was down south working on a story and had a guy who used to be un over Rawls in the Ronald Reagan administration who said for me to say hi to Rawls off air. Like, this card was in here, guys. Where'd you take it? Uh, but uh, he, he, he was saying hi. Uh, he, he works at, uh, I'm not going to say where he works. He, didn't, he told me I could, but uh, I'm not even going to. But uh, James Wesley Rawls has been an enthusiastic survivalist since his teenage years. He's now a survivalist author and lecturer and editor of survivalblog.com. He has a Bachelor's of Arts degree from San Jose State University with a minor degree in military science, history, and military history. A former U.S. Army intelligence officer who helped and, and held a top-secret security clearance with special background investigation and access to sensitive compartmentalized information. He was awarded Officer Specialty 35A, Tactical All Sorts Intelligence Officer, and the additional skill identifier 5M Electronic Warfare Officer. He achieved the rank of Captain, attended the Army NBC Defense Officers Course, as well as the North uh, Northern Warfare School at Fort Greeley, Alaska. His most recent books are Tools for Survival, Nonfiction, and of course, Land of Promise, Counter Caliphate Chronicle series book uh, that's coming out in just about a month and a half. And I remember he was on with us about eight, nine months ago and talked about the plan to flood the West uh, and other serious issues. I'm going to go ahead today and just keep skipping breaks here because this is an important broadcast. and I don't want to cut his time short with a break coming up here in a moment, survivalblog.com. But I know, James, 10 years ago, you let your face be seen in public. Uh, now you don't even come on with people via Skype. You don't even want your photo out there because you know how imminent this is. We've been trying, as you know, in an offensive, defensive posture both to stop the takeover. We've been holding it back, slowing it down. The elite have now gone ahead and dropped the hammer regardless. So it's a, it's a paradox. People now know world government's real. The Pope's calling for it. 
Europe's being destroyed.